Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you try to eat, I produce it and rapping. I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie And I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats and I have no intention Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is the biggest on-water boat show in the world Johnson is a 32-year-old company, family owned They've built over 500 boats. It is marble. Several different kinds of marble in the boat, but you've got to... Most of them are imported to the U.S. Many go to Europe, many go to, to Australia and New Zealand. So my friend recently went to uh, Miami wakeboarding park. He said he failed like 75 times. I'm a good snowboarder, and I really think that I'll do well. Lunar, you sure don't want to go? No, I'm good, man. I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it. There you go, there you go. Oh, you got it. I get it, I reinvest. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Told you it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Get it. What's up guys? Today we're here at uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We come in here pretty much every single year for the last three or four years. I really enjoy the atmosphere, the vibe, the people. Just so you know, the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is the biggest on-water boat show in the world. You ready guys? Let's go. You know the story how I parked the boat first time in my life? No. No? Wow. So we got a boat, right? And then the very first day I decided to take it on the water. So I got my whole family in. And then, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. So I, I took like a half an hour lesson for, with the captain. He basically told me how to go offshore, but then we didn't really stop on how to park the boat, right? So we come in 8 p.m. It's pretty dark, right? And there is this multi-million dollar boats by Marina and I have to squeeze in like in the real tight spot. So like I'm trying to like tweak it back and forth and try to rotate and then I'm like whatever, you know what? I'm taking the rope, I'm jumping, I'm swimming to the dock. Seriously, if someone give me like the video from like security cameras and something from Marina, I'll pay thousand dollars just for the footage. So I swim to the dock and I pull that shit. I pull it to Marina, I, like there is a few people watching, laughing at me. I'm like, what are you looking at me? It's the first time docking the boat. So I pretty much pulled it to the dock. Such a shame. Yeah, docking is not my, uh, it's still not my biggest, uh, you know, thing. No, I really don't like it. Sometimes I see the same boat for like three, four years now. They're trying to sell, they bring it. And don't forget, that's not the only show. They, they keep bringing them all over the place. They take them, after the show is done, they go to Miami boat show, then they go to Tampa. There is one in Bahamas. And they're pretty much touring the whole year. Very expensive too. Imagine all the gas charges and all this stuff. Dasha, I think you're going actually to the place where I'm not really interested because it's all used boats. I want to go see the brands. Yeah, we've sold uh, at the show, we've taken a lot of uh, people's contacts, but we're full of pre-order? Yeah, pre-order. When, when do you plan to start shipping or delivering? So next summer we're uh, delivering the first uh, 70 founders editions. Okay. So there's a hundred of those, and uh, after that we do the, the limited run, 
and that's 400 units. Oh wow. Yeah, so if you is want it? to get your hands on a Founders, you have to get one of the 100. Is it the same color scale or no? No. I'm not so you can actually customize the Orca to anything you want. Oh wow. So there's no other product out there that's a personal watercraft where you can customize it. They're using plastic, plastic injection molding and they choose the color when they do the, the molding. Ours is painted, so you see the white over there. You can actually design that to whatever you want. Any color, any color scheme. Uh -huh. as well as the seat there. Uh, you can change the leather to any color you want, as well as the deck mats. They're Is this a carbon fiber in the front? Yes, so oh, carbon wow. fiber uh, top oh, deck. Oh, here also, wow. And we have a carbon fiber hull as well. That's very interesting. That keeps the weight down, and also the, uh, the style is... What's the total weight of this? So it's 580 pounds. 580, that's considerably pretty much average, right? Yeah, it was but actually... the batteries broad. are heavy, right? Yeah, the batteries are heavy, but um, the Sea-Doo Spark, for example, it's 500 pounds about. Mm -hmm. You add fuel and oil, it goes up a bit higher. This is 580, so it's actually one of the uh, lightest uh, of the range. I understand. If you go to the larger sea dues it goes up to 1,200 uh, pounds. Do you charge them like the same exact way as a Tesla? Just, just a regular outlet? Yeah, so there's actually a plug right here. Uh huh. And that's a standard uh, EV plug. Yeah. So as far as charging, it's uh, to 80% in 20 minutes on a DC fast charge. 80% in 20 minutes. Yeah, it's Holy similar crap. to a Tesla. Wow. And then we have a two hour charge to 100% on a level two charger. Uh, and that's, yeah, two and hours. How many miles it does on the full charge? So it's a two hour range. Yeah. Two hour range. So we, uh, we measure it in time and that's not full throttle, but about 40 miles an hour you'll get. Cruising, cruising speed? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Very cool. So we also have a- What's, uh, what's, the, what's the technical differences? Like, do you have any specific hold? Specific yeah, so as you did, how you're different. For example, the uh, display here is a seven inch display. Uh -huh. uh, you can put mapping on this. If you have a fish finder, you can put the information there. Really? Uh, it's, you connect to it with an app and you can actually control it and customize it. Uh, you can also change the power level. So if you have a kid that's riding it or uh -huh. someone who's new, you can bring the power down to 50% or 10%. Uh, you can also set geofencing, so if you go out a certain range, a uh, certain area, it will actually cut the engine. Wow. Uh, yeah, so you can do a lot with it. So yeah, guys, with all this new technology, you don't know what to expect. And sometimes you come in and you see the electric jet skis. Imagine, um, it's a little bit pricey, but I think you totally know what you're paying for. It's very unique. The whole hull is made out of the carbon fiber. It's extremely light. You can have uh, the fun of uh, jet skiing for two hours straight without burning any gas. I think it's a great idea. I wish guys all the best. We'll be following up on them. We'll put all the links down below. Please subscribe to their Instagram. Um, I think they have a channel. Please subscribe and follow their journey. I think it's a great idea and it's uh, tot totally uh, going to be a great, uh, great success. We have a meeting scheduled with one of the uh, people who I know. They actually brought the boat from, uh, from Europe. I think it's, uh, it's usually docked by Monaco and this year they decided to bring it here and offer for sale. So I'm going to see if we can find them because the boat show is really big. He's waiting for us actually, so we'll see. But honestly, tr the truth is we have to look at the names of the brands. I'm interested in Formula, obviously Galleon. We have, huh? Benetton? Benetton, I'm sure. Jeff? Yes. Who are you, sir? I'm Dimitri. How are you? Good, good, good. Founders. Thank you. You mind giving us a tour a little bit? Sure. Telling us about the boat? Sure. Uh, do you mind her mic here? As well. Yeah. Yeah. So how many how many boats do you guys represent here? Seven. Seven boats? Yep. What's the biggest one? Next door, 108. Okay. And we're so, now on? We're now on a 2017 new unsold 93-foot Johnson. Johnsons are made in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. It's a brand new boat. It is here for showing of what Johnson can do, and of course it's also for sale. The Johnson in the, in the business for how many years? Johnson is a 32-year-old company, family-owned. They've built over 500 boats. Most of them are imported to the U.S. Many go to Europe, many go to, to Australia and New Zealand. The Did primary you just markets. start importing them or no? Uh, I've been a dealer for three years. Okay. I've so built, from this boat, I've built a 108 and I've built a 112 that people who looked at this boat decided they wanted to build their own. Oh, so when you say you build, you're representing the buyers? I'm the dealer. Okay. I'm the U.S. dealer for Johnson Yachts. Okay, so you presented them 
basically uh, exactly so for their design so this was custom built or this was built this was built on spec factory. this was okay. built on spec by the factory but like, we custom built the next two yes sir what's the starting price what's what they're asking for we are asking 4.3 million okay. which is a reduced price the original price is 5.3 mm -hmm. because of demo we're offering a what i would call a very good deal what kind of engines it has it has twin caterpillar C32s, 1,925 horsepower, so it'll top out at 25 knots, cruise at 20 knots. How big are the tanks on this boat? The fuel is 3,400 gallons and the water is 1,400 gallons. And it does have a 1,600 gallon a day water maker. Okay, wow. It has sewage treatment plant, twin generators. It's got at-rest stabilizers, meaning while you're at anchor, the stabilizers still work with the engines off, keep the boat trim. Okay. It's like a sea keeper, remember? The same thing as the Sea Keeper, but with fins. I would, yeah, I would imagine it's more, much more advanced, right? Sea Keeper is more advanced. However, Sea Keeper doesn't work as well when you're going fast. So I built one of these with the Sea Keeper and fins. So fast, you use fins. Anchored, you use Sea Keeper. You can, uh, sea Keeper makes the stabilizers for the bolts of this size? Yep. Really? The 108 footer we had, it's called a uh, 5200. It's, it's almost as big as that table. And you're saying when they're staying like on the, in the marina, it still works? Oh yeah. It's yep. not draining the, the battery like... No, your, your generator is providing the power for the stabilizers. Okay. Normally they're run by, the fins are run by the engines, but you have an electric uh, pump that powers the system when your engines are off. Is this an like really advanced device, a kind of thing? Like, does it like measure the hours of the, the work? Or Absolutely, like because, because, because it all requires, sea, sea Keeper requires service, so there is an hour meter. You're running salt water to cool the system. So let's take a look inside. Thanks so much. So what's unusual about our boats is the beam. The beam in this boat is 23 feet 7 inches, which allows a nice wide salon, but still walk arounds for the crew. It's a lot easier to service a boat when you don't have to, crew doesn't have to go through the salon. We recently updated the interior in the boat to a, from an American Fort Lauderdale designer. Karen Lynn Interiors did all the soft goods and made it what we think is a little more saleable. Mm -hmm. uh, large windows. The other unique thing about this boat is the fact that it has an on-deck master. For this size boat, it's wow. relatively Beautiful. rare. You're in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> So forward on this main deck is your on is your on deck master. You can walk by the day head, stairs to the three staterooms below. So this is what's unusual for a boat yeah. of this size. Mm -hmm. 270 degree view with the drapes are electric. Usually they're usually built in much larger boats, right? Yes. Yeah. It, it's a feature for mar larger boats, but this is still in a manageable size. The owner can enjoy the on-deck stateroom. And a very luxurious head down below. It's all marble? It is marble. Yeah. Several different kinds of marble in the boat, but you've got a shower room and a toilet room and three hanging lockers and two sinks. And Storage. Oh, no way. Don't tell me it's a sauna. No, it's just, it's it's the oh. cedar wood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> be a small sauna. The truth is, if you put the heater over there. Yeah, right. It could be, be a sauna. So sauna yep. yeah. And the other unusual okay. thing about this boat is there's a second master stateroom below with his and her heads. So it's a great boat. Right below? Well, aft. Okay. Uh, it's a great boat to have two couples okay. because everybody has a similar size accommodation. Usually okay. there's one great cabin on a boat and everything is less from there, but they're too similar and too small. On this What's boat. the total of beds on the boat? Four. Well, it's four staterooms. Four staterooms. For eight guests, plus up to four crew. Eight guests, up to four crew. Yeah. So it sleeps like 12, 12 people? Yeah. So How many years are you doing this? This is my 40th. Fort Lauderdale show. Really? Yeah. 40th Fort Lauderdale show? Yep, I started a week before the first show in 1980. Respect, wow, this is crazy. What, uh, how did you start? Like, what, is your parents were into this? You know, my, my 
parents had boats, mm -hmm. and I decided what I wanted to do, I wanted to be a yacht broker. I went to the factory for Viking and asked for a job because they had a Viking. So I started Where was selling it? Viking. Is it in like Ohio? The factory is in New Jersey, oh, okay. but the dealer, I started the dealer in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. But I had an inn because wow. parents had a boat. Yeah. So, so this is your second master, which is unusual on a boat this size. And you've got his and her head separated by a walk-through shower. Also a king-size bed. So two shared owners could feel equal on a boat like this. Yeah. That's unusual. Is this usual that two shared owners would no. enjoy the rides on this boat? No, we, we designed it looking for the two partners. Uh -huh. We haven't found them yet. But it'd also be good for charter, because on charter, you've got usually one principal, but if you do have two principals, somebody gets a small cabin. Right. Two, two, people can, said, right? yeah, two people can feel equal in this boat. Two, two couples can feel equal. I would prefer the front one. <laughs> it is, the windows are nice. Yeah. And there are two additional guest cabins. And this is not the crew ones, right? This is, no. This is nope. for the guests. Everybody has their own head and shower, which is important. These two beds can slide together to make, to make one bed. bed. Yep. Awesome. The shower and the... Yep. Um, we had one of the subscribers actually, he, he, I think he's a college graduate or something. He's like, I really want to get into the boat sales. I like the, the whole atmosphere, the whole romantic of the, mm -hmm. you know, boat shows and stuff. What would you recommend? What's a good, what's a good first move? Start. He thinks to start going to dealers and asking for the job. Yes, that's where you start. Because in my business, nobody walks in the door. I, I have designed it that way. We get calls and most of my business is repeat business. But when you represent a new boat line, a, a popular new boat line, let's say Sea Ray, mm -hmm. you might get 10 people in the door every day. And from there, you can build your client base. That's what it takes. You need, starting out, you need to be the dealership where as many people as possible walk in the door or call or email or whatever the venue. Do you consider yourself to be dealer on the very high level? Is that what it is? Uh, I am specialized in the 50 to 120 feet. I, I don't have the aspirations to sell the 200 foot boats because I sell 30 boats a year and I'd much rather oh sell. God. I'd much rather have 30 closings a year because I meet 30 new clients a year. And really? if you sell two so, 200 footers a year, you didn't meet many people. Is that a word of mouth? Like how do new people... Uh, it's mostly repeat. 95% of my business is repeat and, word and referral. Do you do any marketing? Oh yeah. I mean, we're in what, three what, magazines what a month. What magazines? Three magazines a month. We've got five websites we participate oh, wow. in. We do some SEO marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a youth, the Gilman has a YouTube channel. Okay. But we're, we're not as advanced. We're, we're kind of old school. Companies. No, but listen, I wish everyone was that old school. As you are. <laughs> old school's good. Yeah, old school's good. Proven. What's up guys? Today we decided to do some a little bit of a lifestyle. So my friend recently went to um, Miami wakeboarding park. So and he kind of tried wakeboarding by himself. He said he failed like 75 times to lounge. I'm a good snowboarder and I really think that I'll do well. So today I decided to take you for uh, this new experience and never experienced this before. I think I'll do well. I'm extremely excited. Let's go. First time. You loved it? Yeah, man. I just go ahead and get you to sign some waivers right now. Sure. Yeah, right? For anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not a load up. It's a little okay. slow. Okay. Uh, left side's just a little bit slower. Left side? Yeah, so left it goes side. clockwise or? 
counterclockwise. The left, the left side's going counterclockwise, the right side uh, clockwise. So you got all the ramps on the right side. We get you like up. That's good. Laps. That's good for first time, right? Yeah, you go ahead and just hop onto the right side. No way. It's not really too different from uh, snowboarding. He went yesterday, or I think two days ago. Yeah, your friend was just telling me about he, it. He didn't stand up like in, uh, in two hours. So I'm, I'm, I'm really wanna, you know, I'm challenging it's myself. It's not really a busy day, so you're gonna have plenty of time. Yeah, right. It's not really too many people down there. Cool. So if I fall, just swim to the yeah, to the, the shore. Yeah, the goes all the way around. Uh, mm -hmm. Where you fall. What's the busiest days? Definitely busiest. Yeah. Is it hectic sometimes, like too many people? Like you the afternoon, like weekdays, yeah. Yeah. yeah like... All right, I think I'm done. Boys, but yeah, so then load up. Places in mountains like Aspen, you know, Colorado. They have a you know rental place. And I, like I said, I'm really good at snowboarding, so it's kind of a challenge for myself, you know. You're comfortable in the snow, man. We'll see what happens. I think the hard part. That was actually the reason I came. I want to challenge myself, see if I can do it for like first take, see what happens. Once you're up, like. Right. There. That's fine. This one is fine. Chow, какая разница? You start sitting down. Good thing. This is something that's necessary. Uh, yeah, it's a little yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, I can just cut off the... Meanwhile, that's a little right? Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Well, let's go change, right? Yeah, guys, so we were given the board, some life jackets. My friend is already all set. I have to change a little bit. And uh, we'll hit the water. Bro, maybe you should do it also, no? You don't want to do it? Why? I don't think so. No? Next time? Next time, maybe. Alright, next time we'll do it, no problem. So because we carry the tender on the aft platform, uh -huh. this opens up to a sun deck. Okay. You don't have to have a crane, you don't have to have a boat here, which is a lot of weight up high. Your tender or jet skis stay down at the water level yep. and raised on a hydraulic platform, probably much like your sea ring. Yep. yep. We've got dining up here. We've got a bar with a, excuse me, a barbecue grill that's gas with an ice maker with a refrigerator. Does this design to hold any like more weight? What if the new owner wants to put jacuzzi there? Not this? a problem. Yeah, no because problem. it doesn't weigh as much as the dinghy. Okay. I notice there's no match radars, radars on the top. Is it because- The radar's there, there's no TV. Because if the boat goes to Europe, it takes a different system if it goes to the Caribbean. So that's one of the few things that's owner supplied. But this is pretty much what's what's enough for all the uh... radar, yes. Yeah. But you need it's the you, cool. you need the satellite. Also, yeah. That that shelf so either side. So those are satellites. Yes. Yep. Radars. Radars. The other. Thing. Why do you need two? You don't. But they put them for because for they're not one in front of the other. One's a dummy and one has equipment in it. Really. Some, sometimes you put internet in the other one. It's one of those boats that has four. And he's got. Two kinds of internet, TV, and probably one is, right. one is a dummy. Satellite internet? So. Yeah. Got full navigation equipment. So they, they're using Garmin, huh? Yes. Yeah. Um, they chose Garmin. Uh, you've got... Do you know if they've been using Garmin for forever, for many years, or no? Well, in a boat that's custom built, they use what anybody wants. Really? But, yes. But because this was a spec boat, Garmin was the most popular at the time, and it, it's a great system. Okay. We used to have, you know, ten little screens. Now you've got two, Everything two navigation see. screens, two engine screens, and everything's Our integrated. Also? Yes. Yep. yep. You've got cameras, be it. Uh, Look at this. See? Great you guys resolution. Ever how people park this boat? This is how it's done. Yep. Okay. So see, that's that's the back end of the boat, and that's where your dinghy goes. Yep. This size of the boat can easily close the planet. No, not enough fuel. This size can, but it has to be a displacement boat built for that purpose. This boat can go about 800 miles. 800 miles. There is no place. This boat could cross the ocean. This, this and it's bigger, but it, it only goes 12 knots. This one goes 25 knots. Oh, okay. That's much more. It has 1,000 horsepower each. This has 2,000 horsepower each. Same engines or no? No, those are man, eight cylinder man, oh, these are 12 cylinder cap. Hey, please. 
only goes 12 miles per hour? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's going to take like two weeks. Yeah. Wow. Or day and night. There's no stopping. Yeah. <laughs> Once you go. Good. I'm going to ask you a stupid question, but did you ever cross the Atlantic? Of course you did, right? I have not crossed the Atlantic. Okay. Not not on a boat, okay. just on a plane. You? Is it on the on the list or no? You know, maybe. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Basically, duplication of the equipment down here. Okay. And for a long at night crossing, this is probably where you're going to be. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, where this boat came from to, to this shop? Where it was? Uh, yeah, I keep it in Fort Lauderdale, behind a private home. Okay. Owner must be uh, very happy. With well, it's the shipyard. The shipyard. <laughs> They're ready to sell it. Yeah, not, it's not overloaded with like all kinds of different devices. Sometimes you look at the cabin and it's crazy. And, but yeah, that, that's it. like 50 little lights and switches at night, and we hit all that. Ah, so it's we integrated. Our older boats are just like you described. Mm -hmm. What kind of crew do you think you need to maintain the boat like this? Uh, up to three. Up to three. Yeah. Enough. The the ideal is a husband and wife, and a deckhand, captain, chef, deckhand, and. You can give all the service to anybody. Can we see the kitchen? Sure. It's here. Let's just walk around behind. Awesome. Thank you. This is what we call a service galley. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not an owner galley. We make a model called a country kitchen where the galley continues around and you don't have an on-deck master. Mm -hmm. So you get a huge galley, but the staterooms below. Well Still has four staterooms, but they're all a little smaller. This, pretty much more than this is, you know, if, if you're going to have crew and a chef aboard, yeah. the owner's not going in there. It, it, it's meant to serve the boat. It, they're very active charter boats in the same layout and they can produce meals for eight people three times a day with no problem. Can we quickly see the other one? Sure. Ten minutes to plan. Even five and a half. So that can do it. So this one is how many feet? Eighty. Ninety-three. Yeah, guys, so we got all the contests for Johnson Boats representative here in the United States. We're going to post all the links down below the uh, uh, website, Instagram, email, and the phone number. Any questions you might have whatsoever, please hit them up. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you tryna eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract, you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you tryna cut out a piece of my pie And I oh, ask you politely, go. what's it that you offer me? Yo, what's up, brother? It's my first time, I gotta let you know I told you. Please help me out He's gonna fall 500 times, 500. First, first time I fail, then I go smooth. Thank you, brother. What do I do? Just get ready? You're up? Got it. You guys professionals? No? How many times you did it before? A couple times. And how is it? Fun? You tried snowboarding? Really? See, with me it's opposite. I'm good at snowboard, but I never tried this. I'm so curious. What do I do though? Oh, okay. Lunar, you sure don't want to go? No, I'm good, man. He's going. There's a lot of people that I'm better than. Even veterans ain't got the knowledge. I do. I've been reinvested. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Bro, I'm, I'm switching off, right? 
Make sure it's tight. But you did good though, man. I think you had a good um 10 seconds. Yeah. Look at her go. Look at it. I don't know. That's it. The moment I realized that she told me to keep it here, yeah. I fell. I don't know. Uh, spending money in some really funny ways, man. I promise you, man. Really but it's cool. It's funner than I thought. I thought it's like a little bit stupid that this is like a closed circle. Yeah. You have no freedom. You ain't gonna stand if you win the business, man, man. I promise you the plan ain't gonna work. Yeah. Rap is money. Really you see how he's not holding this? You know what I felt? The moment I start thinking about this, I fell down. From the beginning? You know what? I'll try it one time. If I fail, then I'll just do like that. This guy said he's gonna fly now. Yeah? Let me see how many seconds he gets. Whoa! Ooh! What was that? Three seconds? Ten. Two seconds. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, you got it! balance and you put all the weight into your back leg the same exact way as you do while snowboarding apparently it's it's pretty easy uh, so yeah I did a couple runs for a full circle I did one two full circles I'm thinking to jump now there's kind of those trampolines over there uh, my friend Oleg who is here he has a experience kite uh, kite surfing I think uh, so he feels really comfortable doing this uh, he's gonna give me a small little lesson right now, and then it's gonna be my final run. We are about to head home. Um, I highly recommend this. I think this is an amazing experience. If you have a couple hours of spare time, definitely spend. Okay, so that was it for today, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and put that thumbs up. Now we're gonna board the uh, Lady Attitude yes, the listing prices. Nice to meet you. 7.5 million dollars. Okay, uh, let's take a look what it is. This is a boat I sold to a gentleman a year and a half ago. He used to own a Johnson. He was going to build a larger boat. He wanted something right away. We sold him this used boat. It's five stateroom. It's got a beautiful garage with a 
a 17 foot diesel jet tender. Yep. Let's come aboard and take a look. Thank you so much. Does this platform go down? It, it, that's where, as far as it goes, what it okay. does, it folds up. It's the okay. door. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was the easiest sale in your career? Do you remember some case when like it was some, I don't know, something interesting, some drunk person called you, I want a boat. And so let's a, close the deal tomorrow. Sold a 44 foot boat to someone, called me up one day from <laughs> Russia, called me up one day and he said, I want a 50. I said, okay, he meant 50 meters. <laughs> so I sold him a 50 meter boat. Oh yeah, and wow. I won't say the entire sale was easy because the survey took a week in Panama but it was the most interesting Yeah, call. exactly. And serving in Panama sounds sounds good. Doesn't we were, sound bad. We were in an armed compound. You didn't leave the compound. There were guards to keep the people you didn't want in the compound out. Really? It wasn't. You had to have that, right? Yeah. yeah. For security purposes? Yeah. It wasn't a secure, it was in Cologne. Okay. But this is 108 foot. This boat was built in 2015 in Italy. It's a Benetti. Um, we're on the the spacious aft deck, but this boat has all sorts of outside areas. We take in the salon. Wow. I like how the doors are so wide. So this boat is 25 feet wide, a little wider than the other one. Mm -hmm. It is also has an on-deck master. The owner wanted to make a change in a boat, he added an elevator. And you probably haven't seen the elevator yet. No. Nope. You're looking right at it. it because it's glass, oh, wow. it, it somewhat blends into the decor. It goes from this deck to the Sky Lounge deck. Since the master is on this deck, it let the owner's wife get up to the Sky Lounge. And it, uh, <laughs> they're, they're getting something larger as well as for sale. This boat oh. has Interesting feature I like about it. it has no artwork because the woodwork is the artwork. You've got three different panels of wood. Yep. You've got a walnut, a light colored walnut, which is very unusual. You have zebra wood, textured zebra wood, which is laser cut to be to be um, textured like that. Texturized, yeah. let's say. And you have zebra wood on the floor. Oh wow! So there's literally no art. In so the this floor. is not a lemonade. This is a this is a wood. This is zebra as well. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the window. Look at the Florida ceiling the window. windows on opposite ends. And then, you know, people would like floor to ceiling windows everywhere, but you can't give up storage. You got to have your dish storage here. So Absolutely. Yeah. A nice way to do it is floor to ceiling opposite sides. Yeah. Well, elevator. So it wasn't meant to be there from, the, from day no, one. No, all window. that we took out is the corner of the couch. Corner so of the couch. So we lost one seat in the couch. And obviously you had to drill the hole. Yes. Yeah. Basically, it's a 37-inch hole what, what, in the what, what, crane. It was $150,000. Uh, nothing. But, if, you know, <laughs> your wife can't get to the Sky Lounge. And... Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so, walking forward is the master. Beautiful. See, this, all these small little details really matter. Like, you can see this home. And there's still four staterooms below. Four for your guests. Yep, it's a five-stateroom yeah. boat. It's a big boat. But what's most remarkable about this boat is all the outside deck area. This has got sun cushions. There's a table on the, on the very bit of the bow with mm -hmm. sun cushions. There's two decks of outside area. Yeah. We've got the garage. So it's it's a great outside boat. Yep. From your experience, um, most of the owners of the boats like that, are they like corporate owned or a lot of times it's a private owner? They're, they're privately owned by a corporation. There, okay. It is just a way to own a boat, but it, it's a private vessel. Mm -hmm. But down here we have two doubles and two queens. Two doubles and two queens. Mm -hmm. Queens are aft, doubles are forward, they're identical. Yep. They all have large hull windows. They all have more their modern. own toilets. They've all got their own facilities. Yep. Shower. That one also has shower. Yep. So they're pretty the much identical. Has shower yep. head. Beautiful. Glass vessel sink Same on thing. a marble countertop. Lunar, well, maybe do some. What is? Okay, so what? Now they're getting a bigger boat. 
Yes. What it's, do you think? It's a disease. What do, what do you th yeah, it's like, it's like me and with the cars. Yeah. So I bought the best car in the world, and I still, now after five five uh, months, I want to change it. I'm like, <laughs> it's too bad now. What is this? Is this a, like an electrical scheme of the boat and stuff? Yes. Is this necessary yeah. or just a um, cool feature? It's really the safety plan. Safety plan, okay. The boat was built to class, and that's part of an important, you have to have a exit strategy for fires, sinking. Mm -hmm. But again, simple, not too many instruments. That's the much, much more advanced though. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can see it right away. And it's like a bigger boat. Both coincidentally have vertical windows, which it's great for glare, but there isn't any. Uh huh. The windshield like that, is like further that. forward, makes the room bigger. Yeah. And it's a, another popular trend. Beautiful. We'll put the drone up after and uh, fly around. It's beautiful. Oh, cool. So, this is your Sky Lounge. This is where your elevator comes. Uh huh. Again, no room for artwork. It's all. It's electric operator, right? Yeah. It's cool. It's all foldable. And table for all 10 people here. Lazy Susan in the center. We've got relaxed seating here. What is Lazy Susan? I'm sorry to interrupt you. I figured about past the shrimp. Oh, past the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy. And then you, but you've got a whole other cool. deck yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is where the fun happens. This is the fun deck, yes. Yeah. You got more dining, more seating, walk behind bar, your flybridge station, six person hot tub. So the boat is technically fully, fully operatable from that small little section? Absolutely. Really? Normally you would come up here to dock and you would be below for your longer passages. Did you ever see the owners of boats of this size to decide to like operate the boat by themselves? This owner does. Really? 90, but the captain is still old. here. He, the captain is aboard. But That's he's having it. fun. Probably an insurance department. 92 years old, he docks the boat. He docks the boat. Yep. That's the hardest part. <laughs> he's very, very accomplished. Yachtsman, had boats all his life. He's been in the marine business, owned a lot of large marine companies. You'll get an idea if you walk forward of the four deck seating. Wow. Three different areas you can see. This sit. is impressive. All the way in the bow. 80 year old guy. Operating Lower this level. machine, unbelievable. And just in front of the windshield. How big is the family usually? Like, do you see any tent? Two. No, don't tell me this. <laughs> Seriously? For the most time, it was the two of them on the boat, yes. But they have a lot of nice touches, like these stainless steel umbrellas. Teak decks everywhere. The pop-up 42-inch TV right here, a weatherproof TV, actually. Full bar behind you. Is there a grill here? Or it's on the lower, oh, It came there. with a rather unique Italian grill and he went and bought a backyard stainless steel barbecue because that's what, yep. that's what cooked the meat best. Yep. So here you go, you go, yeah. Yes. One is dummy, one is a yeah. real one. There's actually communications in this one. Not that many people use communications, but if you were taking this boat in a long voyage, it gives you satellite phone in the ocean, out of range cell. Yeah, but like right now, there's regular satellite phones available, handheld. And what would make people, anyone invest into this? That's a very good question. Internet. You can get voice over um, internet protocol on something like this. So one is TV, one is internet phone. Okay. So. Question. If someone has $7 million, what do you recommend? To buy a bigger boat, but used, or to buy a new one? Do you really think okay. that... I would buy the used boat that I... The newest used boat I could buy for that money. But you wouldn't buy the new one? No, unless you want to build the new one. Awesome. But you need the time. You need the 16 months to two years. And Isn't this the most exciting uh, 16 months of someone's life? Some to people, wait for his boat to arrive? love it. Like, I made 10 trips on the 108 foot I built over to Taiwan because that guy liked building the boat. <laughs> There's other people who have nothing to do with it. They just want it now. Yeah. And they want and this is going to make sense. Yeah, it's like us, you know, we want everything today. If not today, then uh, we'll think about it. Yeah. 
but do you think that five-year-old boat gets um, gets old? It's getting dangerous well, this, to like this, it, it depends on the styling. This is a current styling on this boat. You know, there's a lot of boats that look just like it. The Benetti's today look very, very similar. Yeah, you don't want to buy an older style, but it's going to be less money if you do. But the replacement on this boat is $13 million. So you can buy it for half. Yeah. What about the engines? Like, how long do they last usually? Obviously, they need the, you know, old maintenance all the time, but then... It's the, there's something that we measure on engines now called load. And if you run it at 80% load, which You're is absolutely normal, right? You don't want to rape 80 it. 80% normal is normal for cruise. These engines on this boat, you're probably running at 40 or 50% load because you're going 10 knots. Absolutely. So rather than measure hours, what we're measuring today is gallons of fuel through the engine. It makes much more sense. Because if you, yeah, that's yeah. where. Yeah. That's, you know, how many. So I guess there's a formula if you so cal calculate gas burned and hours. Yeah, so, on yeah. those gauges, the engines will read out the amount of fuel you're burning and the total amount of fuel you burn and the load that you're putting the engine under. Mm -hmm. So if you run this boat at 10 knots, it's, the engines will last twice as long as if you run it at 15. Right. And all that's in a computer. When you and it's all set, you boat, can't fake it. No, yeah. when you survey a boat, it plugs it into the computer and there's all the information. Everything that engine's ever done is available to the buyer. How long does a survey of the boat like this size we usually survey, last? We survey this one for four days. Four days, yeah. and it's a constant work. Including different. hauling it out, sea trials, Engine check, generator check. It's about a twenty-five thousand dollar bill. Okay. Properly surveyed, but like, yeah. but it's well worth it. Oh, absolutely. You actually can't buy insurance without the written survey. Oh yeah. yeah. They usually have full coverages for the boats. Most everybody has full coverage. You can't get into a lot of marinas without insurance in case you do damage. I mean, this is third-party liability, but then I got it. Full coverage is yeah. not that common, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much Thank for you so much, me Jeff. give you the tour. And again, my name is Jeff Stanley from Gilman Yachts. And if I can help any of your clients or YouTube watchers, we are happy to help at any time. We've got 40 years of experience in boats from 50 to 150 feet. And stand about to help. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. Thank Great. you. All right, guys, we're going to post all the links down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, please contact uh, Jeff directly, email them, and then they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much. So yeah, guys, that was our attitude tour on the Lady Attitude boat. Uh, boat is unbelievably big. They have like six headrooms, um, beautiful three decks. We really enjoyed the tour. The guy who gave us the tour, he's really knowledgeable. He's been in the business for how many? 40 years? Unbelievable, guys. Imagine 40 years showing the boats to people and 30 years of actively selling super yachts. I mean, this is great experience. Um, Overall, we really enjoyed the show. We saw a lot of brands that we liked. Um, we are very far again from, from purchasing our new boat. So I think for another season, I'm gonna have to keep my Sea Ray uh, on the dock because uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole science buying a boat. You have to consider so many things. There is different engines, different hulls, different manufacturers. Some manufacturers are based in Taiwan. I mean, you really have to consider different factors before buying the expensive boat, sometimes multi-million dollar boat that the, the, the main company is based in Taiwan. So many things to consider. Anyway, thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate you watching this. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you soon.